Another valuable aspect of setting yourself up as a coach is to embody the mindset, attitude, and process of a coach. Ask yourself if you're willing to live life from this joyful perspective. If you are, then you can truly live the life of a brilliant transformational coach. Number one is to enjoy every day of your life and to have fun doing whatever you do. Enjoyment means to find the joy in whatever you're engaged in. Joy is not so much found in any particular action as it is created within the person who is performing the act. When you find the joy within you, you bring it with you wherever you go, whatever the activity is that you do. It's part of you and it dwells within you. When you're joyful, it's part of your essence and no one can take it from you. Number two, to feel, experience, and honor your feelings. Feelings are the outward expression of your innermost reality. Feelings enable you to connect with your authentic self. Emotions connect your physical self with your spirit self and are a barometer of your overall well-being. Your feelings indicate how you are in relationship to yourself and others. When you allow your feelings you show that you respect your reality. When you honor your feelings, you place your personal experience above saving face or pleasing others. Number three, to tell the truth, your truth, to the best of your ability. Telling the truth means that you're connected to your essential self and your own perception of reality. It means that you look deeper than the surface explanation or your circumstances. Telling the truth means that you go beyond appropriateness and decorum and reveal what is sometimes unspeakable. Telling the truth is about being your authentic self and letting others experience it, regardless of their reaction. Number four, to look within yourself for your messages, guidance, and direction. When you discover it, Trust it, honor it, and follow it. Looking within means that you're devoted to the spiritual side of your nature. It means that you reflect on your options and choices before you act, checking in with your essence. Messages, guidance, and direction are always there if you're willing to take the time to listen and notice what they're indicating. Number five. To focus on solutions rather than on problems. Your orientation to reality is either dwelling on the problem or on the solution. It's always your choice. However, the problem gives headaches and heartaches, and the solution provides a wonderful lightness of being. When you're committed to the solution, it means that you won't allow the problem to slow you down or drag you down, or sour your spirit. It means that you always know that there's a solution to every problem, and you strive to create win-win outcomes. Six, to believe in yourself, to believe in others, and to believe in the impossible. Believing in yourself means that you hold yourself in high esteem. It means that you validate your accomplishments and celebrate your successes. It also means that you honor yourself and wouldn't consider demeaning or sabotaging yourself. You take time for your needs and wants and you care for and about you. In addition, it means that you're willing to go for the seemingly impossible, that which appears unreasonable to even want. Seven, to be committed to moving in your life, to reach out for help and or to have a coaching session when you get off track or stuck. This doesn't mean that you have to be perfect, but rather that you're realizing many of your dreams and making definite strides towards the others. The possibility of getting stuck is there for anyone 
who is too proud to reach out to others. Living the process means that you're never too proud or too arrogant to reach out to other coaches to obtain support, encouragement, and validation. In other words, you practice what you preach and you live what you teach. Eight, to love yourself unconditionally, all the parts of you, and to treasure who you are. Conditional love means that you accept yourself only when you live up to the expectations and standards that you have established. When your body looks the way it should, when you produce the results that you've outlined, when you have the ideal relationship, and when your life is the perfect picture of success. When you love yourself unconditionally, though, you love and accept yourself when areas of your life are imperfect. When you're sick in bed, you still love yourself. When a big deal has fallen through, you still love and accept yourself. When you have a fight with your best friend, you still love and accept yourself. When you let someone down, break an agreement, or unknowingly hurt someone, you still love and accept yourself. Now, this may sound like narcissism, but in actuality, it's about treasuring who you are and honoring your relationship with yourself. When you don't live up to your standards, you look and see what the lessons are. Learn them and then let go. Nine, to pursue your dreams, your inspiration, your higher self, and your messages. Going for your dreams may not always be convenient. Life presents us with tests and lessons that beg the question, how much do you want it? When you go after your dreams, inspiration and messages, you realize that you will be asked to stretch into larger shoes than you previously filled. If you're going to be an example to others, you need to show the way. Showing the way means leading others to their inspiration. When you can't seem to book the flight, find the time, or break through the considerations, you use your own coach to support you through the challenges and make it happen. 10. To reach out to others and or a higher power when you need support. To believe in the perfection of all and to see your circumstances from the right perspective. Reaching out is critical to continued growth. If you expect others to reach out to you, you must be willing to take personal inventory, notice where you are stuck, tell the truth, and do whatever you need to become unstuck. Reaching out to others does not exclude a higher power, your angels, loved ones, or special souls who have crossed over. Reaching out means that you acknowledge where you are and you ask for help, guidance, or direction. 11. To be responsible for your actions and to take charge of situations which you are able to resolve positively. Being responsible doesn't mean that you're to blame. Being responsible means that you acknowledge that you are the cause in your circumstances. It means that you're willing to learn a lesson from everything that happens to you. It means that you're willing to take a, a leadership role in all areas that can possibly be resolved. 12. To regard everything in your life as a mirror, to learn lessons, to grow, to search for the perfection in the grand scheme of things, and to lovingly self-correct. Your commitment to growth must be more important than your need to be perfect or to diminish yourself. Neither pride nor stubbornness blocks you from seeing, discovering, and growing in every facet of your life. 
Seeing the perfection is not always easy. To see the perfection, you must have some perspective and an elevated viewpoint. When you see the perfection, you examine the situation from the point of view of being essential to teach you a lesson that otherwise you might not learn.